Thank you for tuning in for the review of the best products available today. These models were chosen from a large variety of products based on their overall performance and review of thousands of consumers that have purchased them through countless hours of research, side-by-side -side comparisons. It's believed that the following products are indeed the best on the market today. Please take a moment to follow the product links listed below to each product for more information. Sit back and relax while you watch the best highly recommended products for this year. I'm Dan Benhart, Product Support Specialist with Minitoyo America Corporation. In this video, we'll discuss the use of a digital caliper. With a lint-free paper, wipe any dust off of the caliper. Place a piece of paper between the measuring faces and lightly close them. Without opening the jaws, pull the piece of paper out from between them. This will ensure that both faces are free from dust and oil. Now perform a quick check on the parallelism of the outside jaws. Do this by holding the caliper up to a nearby light source with the measuring faces parallel and in line with your eyes and the light. You should not be able to see any light between the jaws. If you do, there may still be contamination on them. Reclaim the jaws with a piece of paper and check again. If light still shines through, there may be damage to the caliper or a burr on the jaws, in which case it needs to be repaired. If the outside jaws are okay, check the inside measuring jaws if present. There should be a small amount of light shining through and the edges should be clean and free from burrs. Finally, check that the sliding jaw moves smoothly over the length of the beam. If it does, your caliper is ready to measure. For maximum accuracy, keep the workpiece as close as possible to the beam of the caliper. Failure to do this causes the measuring force to be applied at the end of the jaws, where the most flex occurs. In some cases, the ends of the jaws are the only parts which can reach the feature that needs to be measured. If this happens, take great care to not apply excessive force as this will cause the flexing we just discussed. If you have a new caliper or have recently changed the battery and the caliper has an absolute encoder like this one does, the display will show a blank screen. This is because you need to set the origin by pressing and holding the origin button. While it is not required, this is usually done with the jaws closed. Simply press and hold the button until the display reads zero. The absolute encoder allows the caliper to maintain a reference value even when the caliper is turned off. This reference value is saved until the battery is removed. In addition to the absolute system, this caliper has an incremental measuring system. This is useful for setting the caliper to zero at a point other than having the jaws be closed. For example, measuring the difference between a particular dimension on a master and test workpiece rather than measuring the value of the dimension directly. To use the incremental system, set the caliper at the desired position and press the zero button. To measure with the caliper, simply bring the measuring faces into contact with the workpiece. Make sure that the faces are parallel to the feature by sweeping in all directions. To find the minimum value for external features, and the maximum value for internal features. Calipers can also be used for step measurements. This is done using the step measuring faces of the caliper, located at the end nearest the jaws. Simply set the face of the sliding jaw on the upper step and slide the other face down to the lower step, again looking for the minimum measurement once both faces are in contact. Lastly, if your caliper is equipped with a depth bar, you can use it as a depth gauge. The depth bar can be seen on the back side of the caliper and is attached to the sliding jaw. To use the depth bar, place the end of the beam at the top of the feature which needs to be measured and slide the sliding jaw down until the face of the depth bar comes into contact with the bottom of the workpiece. The Fowler EuroCal 4 IP54 electronic caliper supplied in a fitted case with two batteries and instruction manual visible to the bottom of the case. IP54 rated against coolant and debris features a thumb roll, carriage lock, jaws for external measurement 
internal measurement, step measurement, and depth measurement. Comes with a full one-year warranty. The Fowler EuroCal 4 IP54 electronic caliper. Hello everyone, this is Vic from Clockwise Tools. Today I'm going to talk about the stainless steel digital caliper and the plastic or so-called carbon fiber digital caliper. In this video, I will show you what different between the two calipers and which one should I use. Let's check it out. Here we have our Vinca DCLA stainless steel digital caliper and the DCPA plastic digital caliper. From the appearance, the big difference is the color or material. The stainless steel digital caliper is made from chromium steel, and the plastic digital caliper is made from nylon plus 40% of glass fiber. Due to the material characteristic, they have different manufacturing technique. The stainless steel digital caliper manufacturing is more complicated than the plastic. It starts from the raw steel plate, laser cutting, machining, then the heat treatment, and the precision machining, and so on. So when you see the detail part, the stainless steel digital caliper looks more precise. And the movement is smoother. The plastic digital caliper is simple. The whole body is made from nylon and glass fiber, which is soft and lightweight. And it does not have the locking screw and the adjusting thumb roll. The manufacturing technique is injection molding, which costs less than the stainless steel one. So when you see the detail, it looks rougher than the stainless steel digital caliper. And the edge of the measuring jaw is not as sharp as the stainless steel one. Or we can say the plastic digital caliper is safer for a certain user. Both digital calipers have four ways measure. They are outside diameter, inside diameter, step, and depth measure. Let's turn on both calipers. The stainless steel digital caliper has higher resolution than the plastic. As we can see in the inch mode, the stainless steel has four digits after the point, and the plastic has two. Also, the stainless steel digital caliper is more accurate than the plastic. A six inch stainless steel digital caliper accuracy is 0.02 millimeter, and the plastic is between 0.2 to 0.5 millimeter. Let's take a measure. First, I'm using this plastic digital caliper to measure this small screw. The number we got is 0.33 inch. Then I'm using the stainless steel digital caliper to measure it again. The number we got is 0.3290 inch. So you see the difference. 
At this point, I'm not saying that the stainless steel digital caliper is better than the plastic digital caliper because people need a different accuracy for different measurements. So, which digital caliper should we use? The plastic digital caliper accuracy is 0.2 to 0.5 mm, which is close to a regular ruler. So, this digital caliper is suggested to measure anything that can be measured by a ruler. For example, you can use the plastic digital caliper to measure the size of an egg. Also, if you are going to measure something that is soft and easy to get scratched, the plastic digital caliper is a better choice. For higher accuracy required measurements, such as parts manufacturing, woodworking, 3D printing, auto repair, and home DIY, the stainless steel digital caliper is much better than the plastic. That is the basic information about the stainless steel digital caliper and the plastic digital caliper. Hope this video will help you make decision when you are going to buy a digital caliper. Thank you for watching. Greetings. If you're watching this, it's probably because you're considering buying this digital caliper. Um, so looking at some of the previous reviews, it looks like there have been some some problems. So let's uh, let's kind of walk through this from uh, beginning to end and see if we get any of the problems that the previous posters have. Um, mine came with the, with the battery already installed and uh, the, with a spare battery as well. I have taken that taken that battery out and we will kind of go from ground zero and see uh, see how things progress. So at least one reviewer stated that um, when they put the battery in, the uh, numbers went crazy and they couldn't get it to reset properly. So let's try that for ourselves here. So I had previously zeroed this out. If I can get the case on. Oh, to be defeated by such a simple thing. This really is going to be a pain, which might tell you something. Okay, all right, there they go. Okay, so it was previously I had zeroed this out at, um, at with the caliper completely closed. Now I have a reading after having removed the battery. So let's zero that out, um, extend, and then back again. Okay, so so no nothing no, nothing obviously wrong right off the bat. Um, it, it has all the standard features. You've got the, uh, got the you can select the units, um, inches, um, fractional inches, and millimeters. So let's uh, let's compare the readings on this one to my uh, my my more trusted uh, trusted that not free for review caliper. It's uh, locked in at one inch. So let's let's use the the internal measurement of this guy to measure the external side of the one that I've used all along. So you'll see that um, they match up pretty well, actually. Almost, uh, well, no, more than almost, but precisely um, one inch. So one, one inch on this guy is one inch on this guy. So that's actually better than I would have expected. I would have expected some level of error somewhere in machining or something, but um, it seems pretty solid. So. Um, I have no, uh, I, I share none of the concerns of previous, uh, previous reviewers. Maybe they've changed the, uh, changed the product since, since those were posted. I don't know. This seems pretty solid. Um, some reviewers complained about the case. Uh, you, you can see here it, uh, it seems to do just fine. It's, uh, yeah, it fits like a glove. So, uh, no concerns for me. Um, I, I may find it later that there's an issue, but. Uh, right out of the box and uh, doing some simple tests. None of the issues that were previously reported. So solid caliper. So I hope that's helpful. If it's not, leave me a comment. Let me know uh, what else I should be telling you about calipers. And I'll endeavor to do better next time. But until next time, happy shopping.